Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to edit music into your videos using Adobe Premiere Rush. Okay, so here I am with a project in Adobe Premiere Rush right now. As you can see, super easy to edit and move things around to wherever we want and whichever order we need. Everything is drag and drop. And not only can I do this on the desktop, but I can also do this on mobile as well, which is what makes Adobe Premiere Rush so versatile. So obviously I've got some of this vlog with music already. This is walking in Los Angeles. That's music there. Hey, how's it We've going? got some music there in the background as well and some music here uh but just at this particular clip just here and the more you can bounce ideas there's a lot of talking but no music in the background so it's a perfect example of a place that i can go ahead and pull in some more music and to do this i'm going to head over to licked it's the service i use to get pop music chart music music that is copyrighted that i can use i can license to use legally on my youtube videos uh, without the worry of a copyright claim absolutely groundbreaking stuff here uh I found a great track actually from Lewis Beck called California uh, and I've licensed it on Licked. You can do the same right now and you can get your first track for free if you use my link at mrc.fm forward slash Licked. So go ahead, grab it today. And also with my link, you'll get 50% off your next track order from Licked. That's mrc.fm forward slash Licked. And thank you so much Licked for sponsoring this video. Now I'm going to head into Adobe Premiere Rush with that downloaded California track. Uh, pretty appropriate as I'm in California <laughs> at the recording of this video. And there we go. I've dropped it onto its own separate audio track where I can now mess about and kind of get this just how I want it. And in fact, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pop out a few tools. You can expand the audio using this tool so you can really see what's going on on all the audio tracks and also expand out some extra controls over this side too uh, so I can do things like um, mute or mute the speech and just listen to the uh, audio track, the music track here. So let's play that music track and let's find a point at which I want to bring this music track in. So let's keep going along here. Okay, it's probably going to be around there. Okay, let's zoom right in on that audio track. And again, we can like pop this out a bit further. Okay, so it's going to be right about there. That's going to be it. Maybe one frame before. That's it. And then I can make an easy split by selecting the audio track, hitting the S key, or just hitting the scissors over here in the bottom left. Split, boom, delete that audio that we don't need. And now I can drop this in nicely at just the point I need it, right there at the start of this a little clip here. So let's bring this in put the speech back on. Now you can see here very, very clever stuff in Adobe Premiere Rush. Over here you've got an icon here with a, a person with some speech coming out and over here you've got a musical note. Adobe Premiere Rush already identifies that this is speech on this track and this is music. This is really going to help us in our editing. An idea. We had an amazing conference with all kinds of amazing creators. Okay, so you can hear the music but you can also hear the speech and while it's pretty difficult to hear that speech, well not after you've had a play with the audio effects which are in this little waveform icon here, or you can hit Shift S to uh, get these features out. Uh, there we go. Here are all our audio things. And as you can see, it already does auto volume, not only on the speech, but also on the music. So everything's the same level, which isn't so good if you want the speech to be just that little bit louder. So now we've got balanced sound. This will make this speech yeah. even bigger. We had an amazing conference with all kinds of... You can also reduce the background noise. Here we are at a busy beach in California. So let's do that. And if you want to take your game maybe pull the intensity down a bit to the next level the and then enhance speech and we're listening to a male speaker here so let's do that the thing you can do is mastermind spend time get with people okay that's starting to sound pretty good but now the uh final clip you could say that we're going to add here is over in the music clip and we're going to add a little effect here uh using the auto duck feature and really really easy in adobe premiere rush much easier i would say than premiere pro where you have to play with keyframes and sensitivity and ducking amount you can just say how much you want to duck the music by. So let's start at zero and bring this up. In conference with all kinds of amazing creators. Yeah. And if you want to take your game to the next level, the thing you can do is mastermind, spend time, get with people, talk it out. Like right now, we are talking it out. We're talking about being... So these are our advanced little things here. If you feel that's going a little too quiet, you can increase the clip volume. Telling, coming up with clickable thumbnails, why some thumbnails and titles don't work. Until you get a happy medium where you hear that music and the speech. 
an idea. We had an amazing conference with all kinds of amazing creators. And just at the end of the clip here, we can even go ahead and clip right there, just where the frame changes and hit the S key to cut that off like so. And there we go. We can even go ahead and go for uh, a transition here. And you can use a cross dissolve transition on the end of that music. And then that will nicely fade the music out at the end. We can make that a bit bigger. It's only a matter of time. And it always, it always works. We had a workshop. There we go. And it fades the music out. So using your remember this very important transitions part here in Adobe Premiere Rush cross dissolve on the end there you can actually do a fade out on music just like you can do uh, a cross dissolve and let me give you an example that cross dissolve over here on clips we had a workshop and actually if we um if we go ahead and bring this workshop in before let's actually just move bunch that up a little bit so we can get a nice cross dissolve effect here this works we um, for the conference and there we go obviously a bit of a dodgy audio edit there but you can see that you can use cross dissolve on video but it also works on audio so some fantastic ways you can instantly edit and mix music in with your uh, video clips your online videos your vlogs that you're creating if you have any questions about this or general questions about adobe premiere rush very happy to help leave me a comment down below and thank you so much licks for sponsoring this video